Hello and welcome to the 19th episode of the Herod Campaign for 4th Age Total War Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. I am Wombat, or Wombat as you please, we are in turn 16 now. Uh, let's see. We're looking at the final stage of our assault against Far Herod. Uh, Athan Paras is one of our um, victory objectives, so I do have to pursue this war until I capture that, but Far Herod still possesses uh, another settlement. So once I've captured and uh, Athan Karas, I can pressure um, what remains of Far Herod to become a protectorate. And then perhaps uh, if I can achieve protectorate status for them, uh, grant them the lands, I grant them a strip of land between myself and Far and uh, Khan. Excuse me. Okay, so I think I've gotten through all of the moves for this turn. I've got uh, some money potentially to spend. Let's look at our settlements, make sure nobody's about to rebel. Could probably do a bit better here. Let's see if moving our capital helps. Let's see our capital currently here. So let's try moving it to here. Okay, that increases uh, corruption expenditures a little bit, but it gives me a better cushion for public order. Yeah, I think I'll be happy with that. Okay, I'm sure there are no units sitting inside of settlements that need to be moved. Ah, you need to be training red sand archers all the time. Okay, and we're not spending money for a reason right now. Because um, we do want to spend that money on um, bar and on provincial pacifications and such. Over here, I feel like I've got enough leeway here to go ahead and uh, start provincial pacification. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then let's see if that's done any... Oh, damn. No good, no good. It isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. Alright, well... We'll have to move our capital closer then. Okay, that'll be all right for now. When you've got it on local governance, all you have to do is just uh, switch up the financial pol the um, taxation policy, or whatever the policy is for the settlement, and it'll adjust to a level that will keep the province from being in rebellion. So uh, that's costing me more money than I wanted it to, but only for a few turns. And I think it's better to get these provinces developed sooner rather than later. Okay, you need to be on financial. I like financial policy typically. Okay, yeah, everybody's on financial. Okay. Uh, I think that makes me ready and comfortable to end the turn. I also don't mind building up a little bit of a cash reserve at this point because I will need some money, I expect, to persuade for Herod to accept a protectorate status. We are bringing in a good bit of change. Already in a two governor here. That's encouraging. And now we're on turn 17. And I'll just check the recording and make sure everything's working. <laughs> 
All right, very happy with the recording quality today. Um, let's see, anything interesting happening? Uh, still at peace with Khan. Oh man, something that keep their men out and make it so much easier for me right now. So there is sort of just one thing to do, and that is to attack with my swordsmen because they have ranged ability. The problem with doing so is that uh, they've got these walls that will inflict significant damage if I try to go through the gate. So I really don't need to suffer those casualties if I can help it. And that means there isn't really any point in sending my spies in there. Instead, I should just go ahead and besiege the settlement. Okay, what can you get into? Let's have you go in here. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, path blocked. <laughs> That's a notification that he died. Um, let's see here. What kind of skill do we have here? Three, three, and four. Okay, we'll send three eyes into there. Another three eyes into here. Let's see what can four eyes do. Can't quite get over there. I'm not gonna risk anything bad happening. Now what's going on in here? We've got traitor. That's as I recall what is in there automatically. It's still a room of mess that they'll. Now because the United Kingdom has so much goddamn money right now, I am sure they're working on building, uh, building up Minnesethel to a proper city. I mean they must be. But it's going to take them about 40 turns to accomplish that. So I'm going to have to leave them, leave that settlement in their hands, at least for now. Okay, I'll go ahead and get in here then. And then you can get in here. Okay, now we need to look at our rogues. Who has the most skill among our rogues? Four. One, two, two, one, and one. Okay, well you obviously need to go here. Okay, who else has one? You have one. You have one, right? Yeah, you have one. He shall be extinguished. Go get some. Not you. Are you skilled? No, only one. I think with all the work I've been giving them, they'd be a little bit better by now. Okay, now you can hit here. It's another easy mark. Why they haven't built more over here? He's dead. Who shall die this day? Okay, and then we have somebody with two eyes over here. Okay, we hit that. I think damaging all of these homeland dominions is also going to have the, f the uh, benefit of reducing their public order, which they'll didn't have to reduce their tax rate to compensate for. Okay, and then let's see if there's something I can destroy in here, like uh, Royal Barracks would be fine. Those have to be expensive to rebuild. 
Okay, I was kind of hoping that there wouldn't be anybody nearby the settlement. Maybe I could easily uh, sack and destroy Minas Arnor. But it looks like that's not the case. There's too many defending there for right now for me to do anything about it. Okay, how do I want to handle this? Let's start over here. Okay, this is pretty simple. I'm just going to keep moving them closer to that settlement. Let's see. You can have in this direction. God damn, that's a lot of archers. What was I thinking? It's really too many archers. I need to spread these archers out a little bit. Huh. Let's do this. Let's, uh... Send these archers back in this direction. I'll help them join up with forces over there. And this guy's got enough frontline units. And do you need more archers? You really don't. I feel like you've got enough right now. So we'll have you. See, nope, that's too many. Okay. Uh, over there is fine. Oh, we do have an issue here. Ah, good. They didn't move. So they must have still been traumatized by being attacked earlier. Okay, so I'm not going to move this fleet just yet because I might need them to attack that fleet. But. They're close enough that I can get some support. So I'll do that. So you guys get here. And you can come over here. And blockade. And then we can do our attack on this fleet. Please sink the fleet. Please now, why? Just want you to sink them. Oh, I should have waited to move this fleet. Damn. Hate you. Okay. Kill them, please. Just kill them. Please kill them. Thank you. Okay. There goes that army. There goes that entire army. Very happy with that. They need to go back and retrain, and you can stay here and blockade. Okay. Get retrained. Okay, now we have another fleet over here that I'd be very happy to destroy. So we can start uh, bringing our fleet down to do that. And then you can come up here. And that should be all the fleets that I need for right now. So since I've produced all the fleets that I need to produce, that means I can now start producing spies. And I'll keep producing spies from here until um, I can start producing some generals, which will be when? Oh, and a whole other, yeah, it's going to be a little while, but we'll get there. We will get there. I thought I remembered there was like some black Nermanorians that you could recruit somehow, somewhere. Not in Umbar, apparently. Maybe that's if you're cultic or something. These useless bastards. I'm probably going to use these understrength footmen of Herod to. Uh, garrison forts and such. Okay, so we're gonna let this army of Khan out, or they're gonna keep blocking up 
our men. I'm gonna start converging my different armies here so I can start making uh, armies that make sense. You know, that have good compositions. that there's any combat for me to do this turn. Let's get to our agents. Break one. Well, let's do this intelligently. Okay, so you're where I want you to be. Break one. You. You are supposed to be finding settlements for me, and I know there's one right around here. That you're having trouble. There it is. So we've uncovered that settlement. And that one. Okay, I think that's all the settlements in this area. Now we can go here. Come on. Oh, there's one down here. No, I got that one. Okay. So let's just go like so. Okay, there's some settlements up here somewhere. Oh, crap, there's a dwarven settlement here I missed. Come back for that. Alright, so let's go this way. Oh, look at that. We've taken Rivendell. What does that mean? Was Rivendell held by a Dunabar initially? This area is still a Dunabar. I forget, I know if you play the elves, um, then Eladris is held by uh, a Dunabar initially. I'm not sure if that's the case if you play uh, other factions. This would be curiosity to me. What went on there before I could see what was going on there. Okay, you need to get up here. Come on. Send this scout further on down the line. Don't tell me he's dead. God damn it. Never trust high percentages. seems to be all of my agents. Now, we do have some money. What can we spend that on? He's still building. Uh, let's go ahead and get a consultation here. Seldom is there a reason to hold off on a consultation. Okay, so we're not going to destroy any more Dominion buildings because it would be too risky. Alright, we're just about holding it together. Okay, he needs to build more Red Sand Archers because always more Red Sand Archers, and that's why. Don't argue with me. Okay, turn numbers rapidly catching up with episode numbers. Treasury is building up. Hmm. I wonder, that probably means that the elves are going to be destroyed, at least in that area. Oh crap. 
that to make sure I could recruit. Now, let me check the recording. I'm having a good recording day today. It's crazy how sometimes we'll just be all jacked up for no damn reason, and at other times, just beautiful. Okay, these fellas all need to go retrain. Okay, so here we need to start converging our troops and making uh, stacks that kind of make sense somehow. Let's see, in here we've got those fellows, so we can trade them out for these guys. Trained, and he can get retrained. He needs to get all the way back. Ah, uh, okay, so they need some garrison in here. What do I have coming that can garrison? Ah, uh, we got some of these planes and skirmishers. They'll do. Okay, I've got enough archers here that these fellows can be sent back to be retrained. Okay, we can do a battle here. Oh, no we can't, because Tharvad's in the way. Looks like they're just going to stay in the way, too. Oh well. ports that we can... Oh wait, there we can go. Okay, let's do that then. So... You come over here. And then you here. Here we go. Blockading two ports. That's useful. Okay, and you can come over here and find some more ships to fight. As can you. Okay, are we ready to go ahead and assault here? Looks like we are. Alright, so we don't need everybody in the assault. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, you guys back here. You with them. Alright, so the whole purpose of this assault is just to reduce their numbers so that I can leave a small stack in place. And the idea here is to perform this assault without losing any men. From what I remember seeing, all of their men or rather, none of their men are ranged units. So this should not be a problem. Oh, look at that. They have been getting besieged before. That means I can't capture the gate from this direction. Hmm. Alright, well, all I need to do is... Uh, actually, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's put him here. Now, where is the wall nice and broad? Oh, way over there. That's perfect. Okay. You go here. So 
So we should be able to just send these guys straight up here. And they won't get hit by the walls. We'll have these fellows right over here. We'll just speed things up. Ooh, that's a nice big, see? Oh, that's, see, that's my skirmishers. I thought that was the bodyguard for a moment. I was like, wow, is that the king? I don't really bother to check who the king is currently. Excellent. Good. They didn't get shot by the towers going up to the wall. Okay, now you can get those ladders on the wall. Because they don't have anybody stationed in the walls, I can capture the entire wall perimeter. Uh, and not have to worry about getting too close to their men. Like I think, uh, actually don't need these guys. Well, yeah, I'll get everybody up on the walls because it'll be a handy dandy way of uh, using our javelins. Each tower come over here. There we go. Should be shooting them up. Powerful shots too. Looks like strong ballista bolt fire right there. Oh, let's capture the rest of this wall. Let's see, get your butts over here. Okay. Let's have you get up here. Decided not to continue moving. And I do not know why. Can you go over here, please? Like, just a little bit? What, what are you doing? I don't understand what's going on here. Just get over here. Oh my god. Why? Why are you driving me crazy? Why? Stand ready to take this city with swords and fire. Oh, I'm glad. up their ammunition, so let's send them over here. Okay, very nice. So that's everybody that's near the walls. I have to be careful, I don't want to destroy or cause to rout the last unit. Where is he going? Let's let him go and get shot up by these towers. Okay. Looks very happy where he is. Let's just have him stop there. That's the last fellow with some javelins to throw. So let's see if I can get him near enough to the enemy commander. Just gonna hide there. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and bring my commander in them. Some javelins. Okay, we'll have these two fellows come over here. See what he plans on doing. It is refreshing not to see my men tripping over themselves and falling to their deaths on these stone walls. It's something to be said for the Dunedains. somewhere. Getting themselves shot up. Perhaps I should have waited a little bit and let them finish getting shot up. Okay, so I'm going to run these guys around, let them get hit by these walls, naturally. Everybody else is staying in the square, yep. the game we play back and forth. There we go. Okay, so we can't just run over them because we'll get shot by these towers potentially. So have to send my men up to catch up with them on the way back to the square.
You guys want to not do that? For fuck's sake, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you think that was a good idea? Idiots. Okay, now it's just about using the, the rest of my ammunition on these guys. Let my swordsman get off the map. It's less chance of uh, this last unit breaking and kind of feeling intimidated. General over here. With all With all Very thorough. Okay. I don't think I could have planned that better. I did lose about three men, and I probably could have not lost them if I had let them rest until they were not utterly tired anymore, but that probably would have taken about an hour. So at the end of this, they'll probably have two units left, and uh, what we'll do is we'll Try to see if that's enough for um, my four footmen of Herod to maintain a siege successfully. If they try to sally and break that siege, I'll come back and destroy them some more. Leave not them the land of Gondor, the blood of Numenor is spent, nor all its pride and dignity forgotten. Boromir, son of Denethor, captain of the White Tower. Okay, and then we can go ahead and use these guys to besiege. Okay, we'll go ahead and check our recording. Okay, recording went beautifully, and uh, that I think is going to wrap up episode 19. This will conclude episode 19 of the Herod Campaign of 4th Age Total War Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion, comprising turns 16.5 through 18.3. I have been Wambed or Wambed, as you please. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. I am always happy to read and reply to comments and come back next week for the next episode.